Huh? What is this? Wow! Someone took a sink off of the wall and brought it home? That sounds so stupid. And I love it. I've got to try that at school tomorrow. But now I need to think, what exactly should I steal tomorrow? Oh I know. I think I might steal a drawer from the office. It's not like I'm going to get disciplined for it anyway. Mrs. Ramirez is still recovering from my previous deed. Hey Jody, you do know that Mr. Roden is taking over for a while? So he could still technically take action against you. Who cares? Oh, I've got it. I think I'll sneak into the building in the middle of the night. That way, I might not only just get that drawer, but I'll also grab some other knickknacks too. Okay now, I've got to make sure nobody sees this. How should I do that? Oh I know just what to do. I think I'll turn off the security cameras, so there will be no proof that it was me. Okay now let's think. Since I have all of the time in the world, what should I steal after the drawer in Mrs. Ramirez's desk? You know, forget it. I'll think as I go. And like I said, I will start with the drawer. You know what? The drawer can be second, because I think I need to steal this suitcase first, so that way, I can store all of the items. Now to begin my work. And into the case you go. Now let's move on. All right now, since this challenge is mostly taking place in bathrooms, this has got to be my next stop. Oh, I have a devious scheme in mind now. Oh crap. Didn't expect this to happen. Gotta get out before I get soaked. Phew. That was a close call. I nearly flooded the whole hallway. Oh yes. That's exactly what I should do. A fire alarm. Now I can definitely break that one too. I've got to do this quietly, and carefully. Bingo. Wow! This is more fun than I thought. Since this is a science room, I think I can do some other stuff. Oops, now he's gonna have a whole lot to clean up when he shows up this morning, and just in case you think this was a grammatical error, it's right now 12.42 a.m., so it's technically the next day. Swish. Call me Kobe Bryant on that shot. You know what? My work here is done. And now I cannot wait to see the look on everyone's faces when they see this mess.
What the? This is the worst one I saw all day. And I bet that it was because of that stupid TikTok challenge. I've got to call up Mr. Tom so he knows about this. What the? Who did all of this? If I didn't know any better, it was this trend that's been going on on the internet. Wait, the internet? What does the internet have to do with any of this? I know about this too. You see Mr. Toms, there's this trend on TikTok going on, I'd rather not say what it's called, where teenagers go into their schools and steal and or vandalize everything. Then they video what they did, and put it up on the internet. Kids these days. Now I guess we're going to have class somewhere else? You know anywhere Mr. Vic? Um, I do not know. I guess we'll just send our students to the gym? That got vandalized too. The gym too? What the heck? Mr. Roden, the moment school starts today, you've got to address this over the intercom. Right before we say the pledge, this has got to be the first thing you mention. I was just about to say that. I really don't know what to do with our class at this point. I guess we'll just send them outside, on the field, and let them have a free class period. Yay, unfortunately that's what must be done. I was hoping to give them that pop keys on matter and amp measurement today, but that'll have to wait until next time. Good morning Beyond High School. I really hate to start the day off like this, but this is probably the most urgent message I have to give out in my history of being an administrator. Now, I'll admit it right now, I love what technology has given us. All of these new things that tech brings us that we weren't able to do previously, like advanced banking, and even sharing new trends, just makes me smile. But what does not make me smile is this current TikTok challenge going on. And I'm sure you all know what it's called, so I will not say it over the intercom. Well that must have been what knocked my wall out. And unfortunately, our school has fallen into this trap. A desk in Mrs. Ramirez's office, a suitcase, a pipe in the boys' bathroom, and a fire alarm were all stolen off of the premises, the pipe loss caused that entire bathroom to flood, and the door was open. So if you noticed why it felt very wet in the hallways, that's because the hallways were flooded. Mrs. Angelique's class had hammer desk, and a chair thrown against the wall. Mr. Tom's class had chemicals, including acid, poured all over the room, causing a safety hazard, and the scoreboard inside of the gym was destroyed. Wait, all of that happened? When we had school yesterday, everything was just fine. Someone must have snuck in last night and did all of this. And, and I, I can, can confirm, confirm that someone has broken, broken into our beloved building, and did all of this. I think it might have been a student, but I'm not just going to suspect anyone right away. But when we find out who did this, the following will happen. You will receive a long-term suspension, the police will be notified, you will pay for every damage done, and any other consequence that seems necessary. Now with that, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I mean, who could have ever done this to our beautiful building? Is everything all right, sir? Not too much. Someone came in and... Don't tell me. I know everything. I was watching some type of during my lunch break and found this video here and it looks exactly like the stuff taken from our school. Okay. Could you show me the video? Okay, the username reads JEC2004. But who could have the initials of JEC? Okay, let's think this through. J, E, and C. Wait. Only one student has those three initials. Jody Emily Cantrell. Her. She's the same kid who poisoned Mrs. Ramirez. That does it. Have her down here at once. Jody Cantrell. Please report to Mrs. Ramirez's office. Jody Cantrell to Mrs. Ramirez's office. So Jody, you have a TikTok now? Um, what are you talking about, sir? I don't have a... Liar, liar, no desire. There's no escape now. 
We know it was you who, you know what, to the school. What are you talking about? We looked all over the school and we saw nothing but vandalism. There's this thing going around on the internet where students vandalize schools and post it on social media. We also noticed what you did to Mr. Tom's class. Pouring acid on the floor can have someone slip on it, and if acid gets in contact with skin, nothing but tragedy will strike. Now, for your consequence, and yes, even though Mrs. Ramirez is still out, we can still hand you consequences. Anyway, vandalism of school property is considered a misdemeanor. So police action will come into play. Now I'm not going to have you arrested, because that all already happened to you, but you and your family will be paying a $500 fine by the law. That's not too bad. And you also have to pay for the damages done to this school. Let's see here. A replacement scoreboard, plus a new pipe, plus wall replacements, plus renovations to Mr. Tom's class, equals... $17,265. So that means in total, you will be paying $17,265 worth of fines. And you will be suspended for 21 school days. Please leave our building as I call your parents. Jody, what is wrong with you? You don't ever vandalize the school. Now we have to pay some hefty fines. Yeah. So? So you're grounded until this trend comes to a close, and as your punishment, I will be closing your type ticket account until further notice. Upstairs to your room this minute, and just wait until your mother gets home. Whatever. I had fun anyway. <laughs>